this is the Mako robot and what it is is a robotic arm to guide some of our hip replacement surgery. So a hip replacement is a ball and a socket, so there's the ball side of the hip and there's the socket side. And essentially, the more accurately we do that, the outcomes sh should and, and, and are, to a point, better. And so this is here to help us in our job of putting those hip replacement parts into patients as accurately as possible. So it's a robotically guided arm, you can see the arm at the top of the, the machine there, um, and that arm guides us in preparing the socket, preparing the bone to take the socket, cutting away some of the bone basically, very, very accurately, and then in placing, placing the socket implant into the pelvic bone in the position exactly where we want it. So within a millimetre and a degree, so very, very accurately. And then by increasing the accuracy, hopefully patients feel better with their hip replacements and hopefully their hip replacements last longer and have less complications and problems. That's the aim and that's where the research side comes in. So we're fairly confident that it is accurate and safe and it puts the bits in more accurately than, than the human being equivalent. But what we really don't know is what that really, the effect that has on patient outcomes. So it's, so it's what effect that accuracy has on the patients is where the project comes in. But there are only five so far and the other centres are the Royal Orthopaedic Hospital in Birmingham, the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital in Stanmore, the Royal Devon and Exeter Hospital uh, down in the southwest of England, which is a very famous place for hip replacements, and the University of Warwick. So really other famous places and us here in Hexham. And we're one of those five centres contributing to that research. There are two arms, we call it, to the study. So there's one lot of patients getting a robot hip replacement, and there's one lots of, lot of patients getting a human, if you like, hip replacement and they're randomised on the day of the operation. So the patient comes in in the morning and we phone a special number and the patient's allocated either to a robot hip or a human hip. Um, and then um, that information is kept just within the operating theatre in here. Nobody outside of here knows what the patient's had. So including the patient themselves and they obviously consent appropriately to this, but it's blinded. So they aren't biased by the fact that they've had the robot hip or not and they don't know. And then the research team Pull them up in the first few days, few weeks, months, and actually all the way to 10 years after their operation, so that we can start to get a feel for whether the, those things are different between a robot and a human or not.